So the first temple, Philae, the, the summary of this temple um, is to, to make us remember that we usually see, as, see humanity as the children of Earth, or sons and daughters of this planet, but in this leap of consciousness that we are living, we have to get united to become aware that we are the mother. So the concept of becoming the mother now in this new time is to be responsible of our creation, not being just here to receive what Mother Earth gives us, but also to recognize ourselves as creators of what we can do in this planet. Uh, so usually this temple is very, it happened many things, but this time was kind of like a farewell, something like this, very soft, like this is the gift you have to take. So the gift that we have to bring to the pyramid mainly is the idea that as a humanity we have to embrace the concept of being the mother, not only the children of this world. Okay. I don't know if you have something that you want to share from this temple for everyone that I don't remember. We talk about uh, being mother cells so acknowledge ourselves as mother cells so we can, because mother cells can create anything, can be everything. So we have to take that power that we have these cells inside and we, taking this power, we can create anything. That's a concept to remind us. Okay. So I, I don't know, I don't remember the, how it sounded, the music that we ended up doing, but the lyrics, kind of said something like um, it's done mother go to the world it's done go to beyond something like this so um, they were sharing that that the feeling was like if we all were embryos and suddenly like if all the wombs present there were created on creating only one that expanded like the seeds of dandelion uh, towards every direction like so in every place of the world. And I was saying that the last trip we did, the, all the work was to bring the seeds to the womb and put it there. And naturally, without remember, remembering this, now I remember, um, uh, this time was more like spreading what was being gestated there. So it was a perfect circle of, of time. She was saying about the gift, like, um, like giving us the responsibility to spread that in the pyramid. She's asking about when she put the hand in every heart, and she felt like, like a hand printed with light on the chest, but what was the intention? So what she was doing was taking the energy from above and then with this hand was weaving every heart, like the first one, then it was going the energy to that side, and then again, like like weaving each one of the hearts until they all became one. So it was a network, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting until it closed. because what I saw when we were in that circle after, I literally saw the planet in the middle and then the weaving happening inside the planet where it was like light sparkling in different places of the planet mm -hmm. kind of like turning on yeah and then what i got like it was really like it was almost like i couldn't keep my eyes closed because i was i needed to see it and it was like the entire planet weaving and then the beginning stages of what we're doing as we start paving the road for like this journey, it was like the earth was very present and like the creation of this weaving happening to like add on as we keep moving. Mm -hmm. but she saw like a, um, like a black woman, very huge, that um, she was pouring like an elixir, like a, a purple liquid that uh, she felt was coming from the heart. And from that, from that moment on, every time that she drinks something, it's like the memory comes and say, pour 
this elixir in the water. So she wrote an, uh, an idea that she was receiving there, so she will share it in the group, because so you have the words. Okay. So basically, was I was sharing my story because as a man, and not being a father, it's sometimes difficult to feel that uh, feminine like uh, energy. <coughs> However, what I experienced was I wasn't wearing too many clothes, so I was very uh, cold. However, during the whole uh, process, there were uh, females who were like always like hugging me, and I felt that warm uh, protection, like as a mother. Yeah, motherhood. And uh, however, when we were at the end, at the rock, um, and we were like uh, putting our hands up, I felt that like had that kind of liberty, like freedom, of taking that responsibility. And what I understood is not only taking that uh, accountability of being that creation, but also recognizing that we are also mothers. And as mothers, we also have to allow our children to make that decision and to do it. Because sometimes we follow into that protection of always taking care of our child and not letting them to become that mother as well. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. Nice. And that translates to humanity as allowing people to be as they are. Yeah. Be yes. the example, yes. to nurture what is allowed, but just also allow humanity to have their experience without uh, feeling the need to, to helicopter over that or control. Mm -hmm. Because nine months ago, uh, in June, was the, the moment when we came to the temple to do receiving the seed to the womb. So it's a perfect cycle that, uh, that I had not think about it. Um, that she said um, it was the moment when we received the seed and we had all this time to get ready for the birth. So what we have come here to do is basically to say, okay, we don't have another month because you have only nine months. You cannot be 10 or 11 months. So it's like, this is the moment to spread it to be born. Okay, so that's why the responsibility of now you have to be the mother. But one of the messages uh, she, she received is this unbalance between the masculine and the feminine. So it's like the feminine must gain back the power of the planet. That's why for sure it was you are the mother. Let humanity know that you are the mother. Uh, her feeling was during the, the weaving of the temples and the works that we did in other uh, trips to it was like if we are like if the earth is not only being prepared to have a perfect network now but it is being prepared for like connecting to a huge uh, system like a bigger system that it is now with other planets or cosmic system <coughs> so that was the feeling that we are doing and as I said it, it, it is kind of an update of mm -hmm. the system. That's why it feels not only from this world, but from others. We are trying to connect with other planets, with other worlds, worlds that has this information that we need and they need from us. So we are like updating the system. Yeah. So she was feeling that um, that <coughs> one of the things that we were doing in the chamber was like kind of downloading the, the new codes of DNA of the DNA for the new ones to come. Like if they are, it's, a, it's going to be a different DNA, um, transcendental from what we have today. And, um, and also the feeling was that the male energy was transforming also into much more feminine regarding love and taking care in a very different way from we from what we know um, in this history. So uh, he, was, he was sharing that one of the feelings um, was how he, as a son, had to heal uh, his own mother um, by becoming the mother of his mother. So that transformation of he becoming the mother was like, um, how do you say this? Cuddling. Cradling. 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 So um, the 
the mother as a baby, and there was a process of healing for the pain of every mother in the planet, uh, the, the pains that we were talking about, uh, the suffering that the mothers usually um, had within. Um, so he felt like we had to do this in each one of the nodes around the planet, like the sons becoming the mothers that <coughs> hold the babies, the baby mothers, uh, to help them heal and to locate the places where the mothers were much more hurt in the planet to do this healing, but being the men becoming the mother to do the healing, like transcending that. So it's interesting information received.